Hello, hello. My name is Callista, and welcome back to Unavowed. In the last episode, Logan joined the team, which means that the title screen has been updated. I'm gonna put that somewhere on screen. I know I've said it before. I think that's just a really cool little thing. They didn't have to do that, but I like the fact that they keep updating it every time the team changes. Now then, yes, we are back at headquarters. Um, yeah, there was that weird little ball of light. When we woke up, there was this kind of flying doodad and it zipped out of the room. I doubt that anything is going to have changed here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, so let's head down. Uh, Mandana, you doing okay? You are awake. Good. I have a question of a personal nature. I hope you'll answer it. Oh no. <laughs> Please. Please tell me it's not about the nude. Briny doesn't want to talk about the nude. Ask away. You've been awfully curious about me. Maybe I should have some coffee first. Coffee won't prepare you, Briny. Coffee won't prepare you. Ask away. I appreciate you humoring me. Our missions have taken a very personal nature. At least as far as you are concerned. These visions you have seen of your demon self, could you tell me how they make you feel? I feel nothing. The person in those visions is not me. I feel violated. I was forced to hurt people, do things I'd never do. I'm glad of them. Without them, we'd never know what the demon did. I'm honestly not sure what to think yet. I think this. On one hand, I do think that Briny is glad that they're getting the visions. You know, they're, they're helping to make sense of what the demon was doing over the course of the year, but primarily i think briny feels disgusted she feels a lot of anger and sorrow and you know violation i think that is a very good way to put it her body was used for horrible despicable sexual things and you know to see evidence of that to see memories of it but it's not her i think that would be I think, I think Bryony's dealing with a lot, you know, over the course of this adventure. I think she's dealing with a lot of pain. I feel violated. I was forced to hurt people, do things I'd never do. I see. Control. Agency. These things are important to you. Thank you for sharing. I will see you at the meeting. Oh, no, I want to talk more first. Could we talk a bit more first? We may. Hey! How's Logan fitting in? Did you see a little blue thing fly by? Why are you so curious to know how I feel? A lie, I grew up on Mars and I'm 120 years old. Yeah, this is this is from last time Mandana said that lies make Jins feel uncomfortable. Briny has no interest in making her feel uncomfortable, so we'll probably never never pick this. And any thoughts on the last mission? Let's go through them. How's Logan fitting in? It was difficult for my father to accept a bestower, but he understands the necessity. I am certain Logan will prove himself, as you have. Logan seems cool. I like him. Did you see a little blue thing fly by? Yes, that would be KK, Logan's spirit guide. I admit, I was surprised to see her as well. Eli has a theory. He can explain it better than I. Oh, okay. Why are you so curious to know how I feel? My concern is for your welfare. We must all watch out for each other, since nobody else will. One day, you will do the same for me. Oh, Oh, Mandana! Mandana's really grown on me. I d when I say that, I don't mean that like I hated her at the beginning, but I really took to Eli. Like, from the second he opened his mouth, I was really quite attached to him. I liked his personality. His design reminded me of Joey. So, like, I really took to him. 
And then Mandana was quite serious, and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know how much I'm going to like this lady, but she's so caring. And I, I am quite fond of her dry sense of humour. She has a wonderful sense of humour, but you'd never know about it. Um, yeah, any thoughts on that last mission? I confess, putting lost souls to rest gave me a certain satisfaction. I can see the appeal in being a bestower, yet I am glad I am not one. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because there is no off switch. There is no, I'm gonna take a break. Your spirit guide is always there, always watching. Oh, I miss Rosa. I miss Rosa and Lauren. I know Lauren was only in one game, but I really liked her. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. you know, Eli. Eli, buddy, tell me your theory. A faded circle is chalked onto the floor. I don't know if I ever looked at this in the past. Hey, shouldn't you get some sleep? We all need to be fresh tomorrow. Uh, it is tomorrow. Have you been awake all this time? Should I get you some coffee or something? Um, I'm drawn to this. Briny... I think Briny likes to be helpful to people rather than just stating the obvious of like, oh, it is tomorrow. Like, no, let's let's try and get this guy some uh, some caffeine. Should I get you some coffee or something? Coffee? Why would I want... Wait, what time is it? Jesus, you really should put a clock down here. Are you reading anything interesting? Burning the midnight oil? Maybe you should take a nap. Um, hmm. He probably should take a nap, but like, what? What were you looking at? Are you reading anything interesting? Interesting is relative, but I'm looking for something useful. I was reading about ghosts, trying to learn more about the geists we saw. There must be millions of old texts and tomes on the subject. None of them have anything approaching solid facts. Still, there's got to be something, somewhere. Mm. Why are you so interested? You seem to be taking this rather personally. Are you okay, Eli? Ooh. Part of me wonders if he's interested because, I mean, how old did Eli say he was again? Did he, he either said he was in his 90s or like, his early 100s, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. However, I'd assume his wife would be dead by this point, or extremely old, so... Maybe he has a personal stake. Maybe he's like, I wonder what happened to my wife. Are you okay, Eli? Lost spirits are turning geist on us. So no, I'm not okay. <sighs> I really shouldn't let this stuff get to me. I've outlived a lot of people. I buried my wife over 60 years ago. <laughs> my kids are in their 60s. I'm probably going to outlive them too. And that's okay. I've made my peace with it. But geists, that their souls could be twisted like that? I don't like it. Not at all. Mm. Okay, yeah, it, it is. He's taking this personally. You have a family? We have Logan now. If the worst happens, he'll help. I don't like it either. Ooh. I mean, we we know he had a family. We've been looking at the pictures. He confirmed that, um... I think it's this one that Brian is currently stood in front of. He confirmed that those are his two daughters. Um, hmm. It's between these. This strikes me as a little... Like he's talking about geists and spirits being twisted. This seems like a kind of left field, like, oh, you have a family? I think th the more Briny does this, the more accustomed she'll get. I've said this before, I don't think Briny is the type of person 
who you'd you'd really want to pick out to be the supernatural police. I don't think she's dealing with this very well. You know, on top of the fact of like, I'm having these visions and they're putting me in a really bad headspace. I'm, fe I'm feeling violated by what the demon was doing. Like, she's she's a very gentle person and she's in quite a delicate predicament. But I, I do think that, you know, the more she's exposed to this, you know, the easier it is for her to deal with and, you know, acclimatize to her new information. She's seen a fair few ghosts now, and Logan, when those ghosts went geist, Logan did talk them down very quickly. We have Logan now. If the worst happens, he'll help. I hope you're right. Anyway, sorry for the brooding. See you at the meeting? No, we we have we have stuff to talk about. Could you tell me about your family? You don't know many parents, do you? Never ask a dad about his kids. He won't shut up. But yeah, you probably saw the pictures on the wall. I have two girls, Julie and Gloria. Hmm. Are they fire mages too? Must be cool having a fire mage for a dad. What happened to your wife? Never mind about your family. Let's talk about something else. Bye for now, Eli. We'll talk later. Uh, yeah. Considering the sorrow Eli tends to demonstrate when talking about his family, I, I don't think... I don't think it's cool having a fire mage for a dad. Mm. Are they fire mages too? No. No, they aren't. Thank God for that. Yeah. Yeah, he's too sad. Must be cool having a fire mage for a dad. They don't exactly know about that. And they never will. They, uh, think I'm dead. They think you're dead? I faked my death. This power I have... When it manifested, it attracted things. Things that would have hurt my kids unless I died. So, I did. Yeah. Yeah. It... Also, the fact that he still looks young. His kids are in their 60s, and he looks younger than them. That would have been... It, w it would be so distressing for him seeing his little girls grow old and wither away. That would be incredibly distressing for him, but I think it would also be distressing for them because, you know, the family's growing and changing, but he's staying the same. Eventually, he'll be left behind. And, you know, it... Oof. Oof. I'm so sorry. That must have been hard. Yeah. Still is. What happened to your wife? Donna was... young. 30, 31. It was cancer that took her. Seems so... mundane, doesn't it? When I think about all the things I've seen since. Just goes to show. You don't need magic or monsters for something to be terrible. No, you don't. You really don't. So you raised your kids by yourself? Why is everyone always so surprised when they hear that? Yeah, I raised them both. Got them into a school near my office. We figured it out. What kind of things? Just things. Let's leave it at that. Okay, fair dues. Julie and Gloria, tell me about them. I did warn you about asking a dad about his kids, right? Well, here's the Cliff Notes version. Gloria married a realtor and moved to Florida. They're both retired now. Julie got bit by the wanderlust bug and hasn't let go. She hasn't settled down and probably never will. They turned out fine. Dad or no dad. Hmm. You keep taps on your kids? Once in a while. I might not be in their lives, but I'm still their father. What kind of dad would I be if I didn't watch out for them? Oh, oh, Eli, he's so lovely. God damn. 
never mind about your family. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. Enough talking about the past. Uh, is it? Is it? Because I've got to ask about the pictures on your walls some more. How's Logan fitting in? He's an impressive guy. He's been out there for almost a year, all by himself. I think he's finally happy to have some backup. Did you see a blue light fly by? Oh, that was KK. It turns out we can see her now. Sort of. We can all see KK now? How? Because Logan's officially joined the Unavowed. All members of the Unavowed share a spiritual bond, albeit a slight one. Logan and KK have a strong spiritual bond. It's what enables him to see and speak to her. Now that we're all linked, we're getting some spillover, I guess. We can't speak to her, but we can kind of see her. Oh, okay, cool. Could I ask you about some of the pictures on your walls? Sure, I guess. I'm curious about that wedding picture. Well, I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago that was taken. The cancer came about five years later. She was gone a few years after that. Sorry, could we not talk about this? Again, fair, very fair. Those two little girls, are they yours? Yep, that's Julie and Gloria. They look quite a bit different now. Enough about the pictures. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Any thoughts on our last mission? Seeing those geists with my eyes was bad enough, but I can only imagine what Logan saw. Once upon a time, I wished I had a bestower's power. Not anymore. Yeah, I... I'm not gonna lie, I think I'd rather be a fire mage than a bestower for, for the reasons I was saying before. Like, with a fire... Whoops, let's try that again. As a fire mage, you can live a relatively normal life. You know, assuming you have your powers under control. Like, you, you can just live. As a bestower, you cannot. You really can't. I'll leave you to it. Right, see you around. Did I ever look at this tree? Oh, it's just a random tree. Okay, fair dues. Now then, let's see. Hey, okay. Hey, buddy. I was wondering where you were. Logan is relaxing on the sofa and fiddling with his phone. And there's KK. How are you doing, kiddo? finally up. You guys keep some late hours around here. I guess all those midnight shows prepared me for this. I don't mind the hours. I just wish it would stop raining. You settling in okay? Um, yeah, again. I can't. This is very actory and I can't not go with it. I guess all those midnight shows prepared me for this. Except that nobody claps when you're done. Except me. You saved my life last night. Anyway, I was told there'd be a meeting or something. Just let me know when it starts. Oh, buddy, no, no, I have to get to know you first. I'd like to talk a bit first. I can do that. Okay, what are you doing with your phone? There's a ball of light next to you. Could we talk about yourself? Any thoughts on that mission last night? See you around, Logan. You too, KK. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad we're including KK. I'm so glad. What are you doing with your phone? You ever hear of Trollgate? Some online game thing? KK is a little obsessed with it. Oh, don't deny it, KK. You totally are. You make me play this thing every chance we get. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. We're all playing a pink troll in a fairy tale land, zapping goblins with magic. Okay, okay. KK says they aren't goblins. They're called Whitikins. Yeesh. Such a nerd. What? You are. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah. <laughs> I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment here. I'm. This is why I'm so glad I don't use a webcam because I'm making the dumbest face right now. Oh, I'd, mm. that fills my heart with joy. KK can't play the game, but Logan can, and he's doing it for her. They have such a cute relationship. They are so sweet together. Oh, this. This melts my heart. There's a ball of light next to you. 
That's no ball of light. That's KK. Seems you guys can see her. Eli was saying it was because we're all linked now or something. You'd have to ask him. I couldn't understand two words of it. <laughs> Could we talk about yourself? Sure. I guess. How long have you been a bestower? About a year, give or take. One day, I got the worst headache of my life. Then KK appeared, and everything made a lot more sense. Things made sense after KK appeared? Yeah, with my brother Jonah. He was a bestower before me. He'd been acting strange for weeks, jumping at shadows, staring at stuff that wasn't there. I begged him to talk to me, but how could he? I wouldn't have believed him. He couldn't handle it. In the end, he took his own life. When he died, I inherited his gift and KK. She explained everything. Jonah wasn't crazy. He never was. And accepting this gift, it's the only way I can honor him. So here we are. Mm. I find that... I find that so interesting because something similar happened with the Blackwell women. If you remember, um, Patricia or Patsy, it was, yeah, Joey liked to call her Patsy. That was uh, Lauren's mom, uh, Rosa's grandmother. Basically, she got Joey and everyone thought that she was going insane. Everyone thought, because she was like screaming, staring off, saying, oh, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. So everyone thought that she was losing her mind. And then, you know, when Lauren got Joey, it's the thing of like, oh, that makes so much more sense. My mum wasn't crazy. She was seeing you. Oh, and it made it so much easier for Lauren to accept. I'm guessing that must be somewhat common in a, in bestower families. Someone will get it, think they're going insane. And then when they die, the next person who inherits is like, oh, that family member wasn't. A raging lunatic. They were seeing ghosts. Oh. Hmm. So aside from being a bestower, you're mundane, like me. I was never anyone particularly special. And honestly, I'm still not. So am I mundane? Sure. Mundane is mud. Let's talk about something else. Alright. Can I ask you about KK? Is that okay? She says it's okay. I love that. I love that he didn't just say, there, 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 there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm getting so tongue tied. I'm going to take a sip. I'm going to take a sip of my diet Pepsi. Mmm. Delicious. Okie doke. Um, yeah, I, I love that he didn't just say, oh yeah, shoot, go ahead. Instead, he asked her. He asked KK's permission. I, ah, uh, Yes. Why does she bob up and down like that? She says she doesn't know, but honestly, I think she's messing with me. Why? Because you're always messing with me. Oh! <laughs> they have such a cute brother-sister vibe. I love it. What does KK look like? Oh yeah, you only see a ball of light, right? I see a little girl, about 10 years old. I, really? You sure it's okay? Well, okay. I have a picture on my phone of what she looked like, you know, when she was alive. She says it's cool if you want to see. Oh, where did you get that? I'd love to see that picture of KK. Sure, here. Yep, that's her. That's her, oh. Oh, <laughs> how did she die? That's such a morbid question. But we know, we know how she died. Oh, I just... Ah, this gets me right in the feels. KK was so young. I know. She was 10. Just try not to make a big thing of it, okay? How did KK die? Look, you never spoke to a ghost before, so you can't know this. You don't ask a ghost how they died. You just don't. It really upsets them. So, let's not do that, okay? Why can't we apologize? Why can't we apologize? Um, yeah, if you can't remember, um, Kendra got shot. 
she was shot. The person was aiming for her mum, I believe, but the, the shot went wild. It shot KK. And rather than taking her to a hospital, her mum retreated into the family home where she had built like a little bunker in the basement and she dragged KK into the basement where she then died of blood loss. And basically the... It, again, major spoilers for the Blackwell games. If you haven't either played them yourself or watched a Let's Play, please go do that. The Let's Plays are up on my channel in handy dandy playlist so please either, please either either watch them or go play the games for yourself i would highly recommend them um yeah basically this this lady her mum she thought that the bunker was spiritually sealed so kk's ghost would be in the bunker and that it would be safe from these people who were sundering souls. This lady, she didn't realise that it was only specific people whose souls could be sundered. So KK's soul was never at risk. She was always fine. It was her mum who was in, in danger. Oh, I... The final Blackwell game was so sad. It was good, but it was so sad. Um... Actually, let's talk about something else. You got it. Any thoughts on that last mission? I think I'm just happy to walk more than two feet in any direction. I'm eager to move. You need me to run out for coffee or a pizza or anything? Just say the word. Okay, Logan. See you around, Logan. You too, KK. Talk later. Now, where were we? <laughs> Aww. And then Kalash. A bestower and spirit guide in the unavowed home. More evidence that times are changing. What do you have against bestowers? He talks to ghosts! How is that a bad thing? Should we not have invited him to join? Um, Mandana was kind of saying that Kalash believes the unavowed should keep out of life and death matters. Some, something to that effect. What do you have against bestowers? Nothing at all. It is their vocation I have issue with. Bestowers deal with death. Mundane, mortal death. It is messy, fraught with emotion, and rarely pleasant. But times are changing rapidly. We must adjust in kind. So, shall we start the meeting? Hmm. Call the meeting. Yes, it is time. So, you met the new guy? The bestower? Yes, I have. Did I read the report correctly? You battled three poltergeists for two days and survived. Um, I wouldn't call it battling. I just kind of sat there. Regardless, anyone else entering that house would have been killed. You being there saved lives. Well, I was where I needed to be. That's all. No doubt. However, a poltergeist should never have formed in the first place, let alone three. How did this happen? It was my fault again. <laughs> it was my demon again. Does it matter? We stopped it. Don't blame us for this. He's not blaming us. He's, ble he's blaming the demon. It was my demon. Again. <sighs> of course it was. The demon turned the residents against each other, then encouraged them to kill each other. Somehow, in the midst of all that nasty, their souls got corrupted, made them go geist. But again, we return to our old question. Why? Why is the demon doing this? To what end? I admit, I am confused. Have you investigated Staten Island yet? No, not yet. Then perhaps we will find our answers there. What about the ghost in the village eye? Yes. A witness, albeit an unconventional one. The bestower can speak to it, whereas we cannot. Look, if it has any information for us, I'll pass it along. But my priority is helping it. Naturally. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. Did he just... You get used to it. I really like Logan. 
Logan may be my favorite character in this game. I, I was so certain it was gonna be Eli, but no, I think it's Logan. Logan and KK. Okay, um... Oh, now here's the question. I don't have Wi-Fi in the tunnels yet, so no, sorry. Oh, huh? KK wants to play Trollgate. Nothing. KK wants me to turn on Trollgate, but there's no signal down here. Kids and screens, right? Gotta set limits. I don't know about that. I figure if you die, you should be allowed to play as many video games as you want. Fair. I agree. Any any rebuttal? Oh, how? Here's the question: How many people can we have in our party? Um, uh, Logan's new, so I definitely want so him. Logan, is KK standing still, or is she moving with the subway? What do you mean? She's not actually standing on the floor, right? So what's keeping her here? I mean, magic or not, that's just basic physics. I don't know. I guess physics don't really apply to dead people. Mm. What do you think, KK? <laughs> what? What did she say? Oh, uh, she burped loudly. <laughs> Classy, KK. Classy. Um, can we? Party can only have two members. Okay, got it. Um, in that in that case, let's go, Eli and Logan. Um, I'm drawn to Staten Island. I kind of feel like those were the two places where there was demon activity. But then what if that moves the game forward? Ooh. I don't know. I. This does seem important. I, I don't feel like if, if we focus on this that they'll be like, okay, well, you've been doing too much of this, so you can't go back for the clue. I don't think they do that. The Blackwell series was never like that. It was always very fair in, like, how you picked up clues, so... I'm inclined to see what else the demon was doing. Ooh, Staten Island, St. George Ferry Terminal. 8.02 p.m. Right. So, what are we looking for? Magic, mystery, monsters who want to eat us, that kind of thing. I'll keep my eyes peeled. You too, KK. Well, we will have to look for all of those things in the next episode, because I'm just about out of time for this one. So, until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.